Hey guys, Andre here, and as you can see, I got a couple of boxes in today. A, pretty, a couple of pretty big boxes. Uh, so I figured we'd do a quick unboxing for you and show you what's inside. Now granted, you probably already have some idea because of the headline down there that spoiled it, but there are a few surprises in here that I thought would be fun to take a look at. Um, the full disclosure, I already did open up both boxes. Uh, I only saw a little bit inside the second one, so that one's going to be a bit of a surprise for me still. Um, but I had to peek inside the first one to make sure I could show you any of this, and luckily I can. Uh, but there are some limitations, which I'll get into in a sec. So without further ado, let's go ahead and break open these boxes. We'll start off with the, uh, the bigger one here, because of course we got to start off with the biggest one. So, um, first of all is, uh, and even though I opened this box, I didn't move any, I didn't move anything inside besides the embargo sheet. Uh, speaking of which, here it is. It includes a very nice letter written by Reggie, including a uh, his signature on here. I don't know if he actually signed it himself, but it's pretty cool. Um, I guess I can show you that part. Uh, I, don't, I can't actually show you the embargo, though, because I'm pretty sure I'd be breaking embargo. Anyways, uh, what's inside the box is this. That is what's inside the first box. So, um, actually, I don't know if we got a good look at that. So let's try this. So let's go ahead and start taking the stuff out one at a time. And don't worry, we'll do a close-up here in a few seconds, or right afterward. So, first of all, of course, the Nintendo Switch itself. Here it is, in its full glory. Isn't it magnificent? Yes. <laughs> um, you can see the side of the box. Again, I'll do a close-up look in a, few, in a few moments. Then, the thing that I arguably want even more than the Switch, although I need the Switch for it, but... Zelda Breath of the Wild, and this game case is adorable. It's like, it reminds me of the Japanese GameCube boxes, which uh, were always just, you know, I, j there was something appealing about this, the size of them, so I quite like this. Um, yeah, there's a box, or the back of the box. And then we have, speaking of Zelda Breath of the Wild, we have a ton of amiibo here. So first, of, uh, first up is the Guardian, the biggest one. The thing is almost the size of the Switch itself. Man, he is... I don't know I'm showing you the back. I just want to take a look at it myself. <laughs> that is pretty freaking cool, actually. Um, he's huge. So, that's going to be a little bit weird, skinning in on a tiny Joy-Con. Here we have Princess Zelda. Again, we'll do close-ups here in a few moments. We have... Oh, I got another Wolf Link. Um, I already have one from Twilight Princess, but... Got a second one just in case. We have Horse... Or Link Rider, I should say. Like... Wasn't it like Flynn Rider and Tangled? Link Rider, Flynn Rider? Um, I could be making that up. I, I don't remember what his name was. We have a Bogoblin. Bogoblin? Bogoblin? I don't remember. But there you go. You would think I'd remember stuff after doing all the analysis, but my mind is just a jumbled mess. And then we have Link Archer, or Archer Link if you prefer. Um, so yeah, that is the first box. We've got a nice little stack here of stuff. So let's go ahead and check out the second box. Now again, I did take a quick peek, but I didn't, I purposely avoided looking at it, so this would be a bit surprise for me too. I don't know what's all inside here. Alright. So I'll show you this. I don't know if you got a good look at that, but... Alright, so first up we have a Joy-Con charging grip, um, which is handy. So this will allow me to charge the Joy-Cons as I'm playing with the grip, um, I believe. That, I mean, that's what the name describes, so that's actually the accessory I know least about. I actually forgot the thing even existed until a couple days ago. We have a Nintendo Switch Pro Controller. And then, we have a Nintendo Switch carrying case and screen protector. So, that will be useful. <laughs> um, I suspect I will be taking this thing on the go, especially because I need to test that functionality for the review. And I'm going to want to keep that screen pretty safe. Um, so yeah, so here's a catch. Even though I've unboxed, you know, this one, the FedEx box, I actually can't unbox these boxes. So I cannot show you what's inside these boxes, unfortunately. Um, I can in a few days. Let me double check when that is. Blah, blah, blah. This is so exciting. I can show you on February 23rd, and today is... What day is it today? I have no idea. Why is my watch showing what day it is? I don't know. Okay, today... Okay, today's the 20th, so in a few days I can show you. I, I have no idea what day it is. So, um, yeah, can't show you what's inside yet. I mean, you probably have some idea, plus there have already been at least one unboxing, you know, one unboxing out there. Uh, but, in the meantime, let's go ahead, I'm gonna grab the camera, I'm gonna give you a close-up look at the boxes themselves, and we'll show you as much as we can, uh, you know, without making Nintendo upset at us. So, uh, I'll catch you guys in a few seconds. And we're back, this time in my handheld form, or at least the camcorder is. Okay, yeah, that was a stupid joke. Anyways, we're gonna go through these boxes real quick. Um, we'll take a close-up look at them, and I'll show you the back of the ones that matter. Uh, so let's go start off with, of course, a Switch itself. 
There it is, and it's all its glory, well, in its boxed form at least. Uh, yeah, who knew that was another form of the Switch? Unfortunately, again, I can't show you what's inside yet, but I will as soon as I can. Um, I mean, spoilers, there's a Switch, there's a switch inside. I mean, you're basically looking at it right now, so... Uh, I know, um, another outlet opened their box. I don't know if we can, I don't know if we're supposed to do that, so I'm not taking any chances here. <laughs> uh, there is the Guardian Amiibo. Pretty cool, pretty huge. For comparison, here are the others in size. I mean, let me click here. There's the Bok Goblin. For comparison, you can see the size difference. Uh, so I guess we'll go through the rest of the Amiibo real quick. Uh, there is the Rider Link. Let me get a different lighting angle on him. Alright, next up is Archer Link. See the arrows in his quiver. Nice little detail. The goblin. Here's the uh, wolf link. We've seen him before, so not a big deal. And Princess Zelda. All right. And let's go and do when we look at the guardian too. We'll get a close up look at this guy. I love how the guardians look. All right, now on to uh, the accessories, I guess. So we'll start off with the uh, the grip here, the charging grip. Yep, not too much to say about that. Oh yeah, there's the back, if you're so interested. If you want to pause it and read it. Next up we have the Pro Controller. Side, other side, nothing on the bottom, top, and back. Then we have the carrying case, right there, along with the screen protector. Here is the uh, back of that, if you want to read these exciting instructions on how to apply it, that way you can be ready to go if you decide to get your own when your switch comes in. There's the bottom. Let's see, big sign details like the zipper there. Alright, and let's take a look at Zelda itself. Bam! Isn't that beautiful? Love that box art. Here's the back. Along with some pictures from... Looks like most of these are from the trailer, I think. Or some of these are, at least. Side. Again, just love that case. So, yeah, there you go, guys. That is everything. Um, again... Uh, oh, I feel like I almost forgot. Let's do the back of the box switch tour. Or back of the switch box tour. Again, so here is the front, here is the back, side, other side, top, upside down top, <laughs> and bottom. Um, anyways guys, there you go. That is, that is everything that came in my Switch boxes, so... I can't wait to start playing this, and again, there are, everything is embargoed, the Switch, and then uh, on the, what did I say, 24th, I think, followed by Zelda afterward. So it is going to be a few days before you see much more coverage of this directly from us, but trust me, as soon as we could show you more, we'll show you as much as we can, while being uh, very cognizant of spoilers. So we're going to try, we're going to avoid spoiling anything major about Zelda, so don't worry, plus I'm sure the embargo uh, will prevent that as well. <laughs> um... Yeah, well, thank you for joining us, and make sure to stay tuned to Game Explain if you haven't already, or make sure to subscribe if you haven't already, because we'll be covering lots more on the Switch and Zelda and everything else as well. Alright, catch you guys later. Bye.